Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to this video on the Free Labs beta. And where this came about was is I've had a lot of people ask me for the iOS images for the UC appliances and unfortunately I can't because it's illegal. So uh, if you don't have your own means of obtaining that to follow along, uh, what I thought I could do was at least provide the resources that I have to be available because I think it's important that, you know, even though you can read and study, um, watch videos, getting the hands-on experience is, you know, critical to learning, in my opinion. And so, and, I, and I've and i been there where, I mean, some of my old videos were take go through uh, some installation tips that, you know, take four hours to get installed, but that's because of the limitation of hardware that I had, but in order to get it to work, these are all the tweaks you had to do, and, um, so, or you can do it at all. So, um, and I know there's some people out there that either don't have the hardware, the software, or whatever the case may be. So at least with my videos, um, everything that I'm in going forward, everything that I'm doing is going to be in an environment that you will have direct access to the exact same that I'm doing. And uh, the one of the differences and one of the things that I'm working on right now, for example, is I'm on this remote desktop. Uh, so <clears throat> I have some numbers on media sense to auto answer and right now I'm just using the sim uh, Cisco sample so for example if I dial extension 5000 you know and get your jam on and that was with the IP communicator and then if you want to try uh, with video you can do the video uh, dial the same extension and you still have the um, you know, so it's the same call but with video, and so I'll have some different extensions for different types of videos if you want to do that. And then, um, like with the 2811, we'll be setting up SIP trunks and PRIs to that. And as a matter of fact, it's the same one that I had seven years ago. So even though on those old uh, CME videos and uh, uh, Call Manager Express, you can actually still do those uh, today in that environment. So one of the things on VoIP Tech that info that I have here is, uh, and this is this is just a very rough draft. I'm going to be adding stuff as it goes on and when it's fully ready. But um, it has information on how to get connected, the username, passwords for all the devices, and the thing is, is you can access it directly from the machine that you're on or use the remote desktop. So if you want to install Jabber or IPC on your regular desktop, you can do that. And so see, I can log in directly you know from here or you can use um, the remote desktop session uh, to get to everything and, and make your call so that's kind of the idea is to make it as close as possible to being able to use it from uh, home as if it were yours um, or if it, as if it was on your home and then I have you know your NTP LDAP all that so um, so basically I was looking for a show of interest uh, because I have um, an extra server, I could probably set up two, maybe three pods uh, total. Um, but right now, I only have one that's going to be fully fledged, and I only have time to work on this on my spare time, uh, so which is limited. Uh, so, but uh, so I was just trying to in advance see if any of you are interested in this. Otherwise, um, I'm going to keep things as they are, and we'll just be available. And if it um, gets more use because uh, like I say I'm not a business I don't have I don't make any money off this I'm just sharing this with you and so um, just trying to plan ahead um, in case especially with the holiday weekends or holiday months coming up I might have some extra time to uh, work on the infrastructure piece now and speaking of which on full disclosure I had uh, some help from a guy that's been doing CCIE since he was seven days old and uh, so he helped you know, separate the cable modem DSL uh, to you know to make it as solid as can be, even with the less than one meg upload speed. Um, so I just had to give you know credit where credit is due. So um, so yeah, if, if you could let me know if you're interested. Um, if not, that's fine. You don't have to say anything. I'm just trying to get an idea as far as volume on how many would be interested in using it, so I can plan going forward. And I will have the details uh, posted here soon on for those that do want to access it. So uh, again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.